What's up, everyone? It is Lavenji, and we are back with the second match of the 2v2 Times Show match hosted by The Beginning on YouTube. Colors remain the same, the players remain the same, but if you did not watch game number one, Clan Asgard's Sub Zero, also known as Craig, also known as the tournament host, also known as The Beginning on YouTube, playing the Blue Tribe. Playing as the Red Tribe, we have. Babo, his ally of the clan overpowered, represented. They are team one, and they were victorious on the first match, which was pressure point. Over on team two, we have Clan Asgard's Ahmed and Clan Asgard's Keith 52. Played a hard pressure point game, but unfortunately didn't quite clutch the victory. And they couldn't quite hold the middle and took a defeat as a result of it. <laughs> a little bit of cheat from Babo there. Doesn't pay it off. A, lot of a for effort there, though. But anyway, this map is Hollow Fields version 2. It is a tree light map where you have to harvest a lot and control the rate you're building. Early on, this is the one path that people attack down. Very quickly, you get a land bridge from here to here. Towers around here. And. It becomes a two-path map. And then, occasionally, depending on who you play it with, players like Spinifix and T-Rod and uh, Tunda, you'll get a long side which will come out here, all the way around here, and then into here as well. Uh, back door's reasonably far away for this map, as you can see. Uh, but it'll be a while before players are looking to expand. Because of how limited the wood situation is. Limited wood or not. No excuse to skimp on the defense. And as you can see, Craig has already gotten up a couple of towers. Needs to train some fire warriors to fill them, though. Well, he has already got one. Mm, pardon me. Stu's only just finished his fire warrior training hut. The Braves still stood outside. They've been tasked onto other things. We've got a fire warrior coming out of there as well. Just need to see a Fire Warrior out of Ahmed. He hasn't got his Fire Warrior training that done yet. Out they come. One more. There we go. I was so intent on watching the Fire Warrior training hub be built that we actually missed Ahmed dying in an early blast trade. That tends to happen in this on this map. You know, the first shame of death tends to not be terribly impactful. You may notice we've been invited into this game as an official spectator now, so that we can cast properly instead of just spying on Babo's spells and mana and risking desyncs and all other sorts of shenanigans. Two shamans versus one. Key 52 is feeling brave, though. He's looking like he wants to push forward. No? Yes? No? Got plenty of towers. Keith does this. He's so lazy about the entrance to his towers. Always puts them facing towards an opponent. Nice blast trick from Keith 52. Finds himself uh, staying alive and he was able to return with a kill onto Craig. Leaving Babo to defend one versus two, but uh, if anyone can do it, it will be Babo. Ghost Army does show up. Blasts. Oh, so close. Babo has to get up the hill, but he has to retreat from the Shaman. He gets up the hill just about. Good blasting out of both of these Shamans. Oh, what a max rate. Oh, what a blast. A little bit of beta shenanigans as the Shaman threw herself off the edge of the cliff there. But, uh, it's now 1v1 between Babo and Ahmed. <laughs> burning out the trees. Nice blast trick from Ahmed, managing to save himself from going into the water. Craig's coming forward with the ghost to distract the towers. Blast onto Ahmed once again. Another good blast trick. Oh, what a tornado! Picks up both of the shamans. Firewar is getting his shots in as well. Both shamans are probably going to die here. Both shamans down in a single tornado. What a play from Ahmed. He's now getting a get he there 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 there. He's now going to be able to push forward. 
that I haven't filled these towers, but it's not a threat directly yet. Fire Warriors are instead better placed here to prevent aggression from Shamans, and it's a good idea. Um, it appears to be charging Tornado, so he's going to be one that clears the path for Key 52, and it's going to be Key 52 with an Earthquake in the pocket by the looks of it. As you can see, both bases are progressing along slowly. So quite dangerously, they're going to be getting to a point where upgrading is going to be a thing and they'll no longer be able to build. So we'll be keeping an eye on the wood throughout the level. I was checking to see if this plan was still here. Craig challenges Ahmed. Oh, Keith almost goes rolling into a puddle there. That would have been funny. If that had been Bellow, straight in there. A little bit more tree blasting. Babo just immediately into the water. Leaving Craig to fight two shamans. This map does get played reasonably often these days. Oh, into the water goes Craig, leaving Key 52 and Ahmed to do a push. Now, Keith, there's no fire warriors in these towers. Craig had pulled them all out and got them all killed trying to stop the Shaman advance last time. Babo's Fire Warriors almost get a kill onto Keith 52, but not quite. Keith blasts Ahmed further into the base, which means Ahmed is going to have an earthquake. They will have communicated that. They are in comms. Ahmed retreats a little bit. Babo gets the tornado onto both of the Shamans. Ahmed goes down. He gets one last tornado out onto one of Craig's towers. Second tornado from Babo onto Keith manages to kill Keith before the first earthquake goes out. You may be wondering why Shaman's why he was trying so hard to stop an earthquake going off there. This map is so wood tight that taking an early earthquake can just be the end of you. If it's particularly devastating. Babo's going to have a fist fight with a little brave. Or throwing out a blast. Craig's got the ghosts. He's got the swarms. He's got utility. And I peeped over at his stream. He's got two earthquakes as well. So he has got the mana to deal some damage. He just needs the opportunity. Both shamans are trying their best to clear up these fire warriors. Mm, perhaps not both casting the earthquake on the same spot. Yeah, that, second, that third earthquake did nothing. Three earthquakes onto more or less the same spot. Probably not the most efficient use of that mana. But it is an opening. Did plenty of damage. Lowered that ground substantially. Made it hard to replenish the defense. So it'll be easier to get in in the future. <laughs> Convert. Calling Babo out. I like to imagine that's what shamans do when they cast Convert at shamans. They're like, you're next. And Keith just randomly falls in the water. Gotta check that that is Keith 52 and not Baba. Definitely is Keith 52. Just randomly rolling into the water. Trying to teach a shaman how to swim. Not finding any success. Blasts from the red shaman go to clear things up. Just a little bit. Ahmed. Blasted up onto the high ground. Throws down a ghost army of his own. He's going to try and get some pushes with the Shaman Tornado. Misses. Oh, but a good trade of blast. And Ahmed's still alive. He's able to just throw out more ghosts. He's being very aggressive. He's trying to make sure that the Shaman gets pushed back. Meanwhile, Keith 52 is going towards the side door because Bado still hasn't filled those towers. We called it out earlier and it's become even more true and even more prevalent now. Now you're going to have a two-pronged attack here where Ahmed pushes Craig back here. Babo fill those towers. I think he's hidden some fire warriors in his huts. I think he's hoping that uh, Green is not paying attention, but no. Just outright bad play from Babo as he leaves his side completely open. Earthquake from Ahmed doesn't find much damage, but the earthquake from Keith did do a good bit to Baba. Ghosts. Oh, that was terrifying. There was a lot of splashing there, and it wasn't immediately clear who that was that went, went for a little swim.
Craig has come to help Babbo, who is still slowly ascending this hill. He's going to throw out a blast. Babbo's going to answer with a blast of his own. It looks, judging by that weird shaped ghost, it looks like Ahmed went for a little swim, but Babbo has also decided to fall into the water. Keith 52 just about survives, manages to get the cancelling on the roll with a blast. Tornado out from Keith onto one of Babbo's towers. Don't know why he bothered. Babbo wasn't filling them anyway. More ghosts out from Craig. Ahmed has done the smart thing and he has got fire warriors in his house. Blasts from Keith. Pushing Craig back. He's really trying to get Craig into the water. So much so that he was ignoring the fire warriors. But he does get the kill that he was looking for. Babbo's sick to death of that spire that his shaman spent half a year trying to climb up. Throws out a land bridge to fix it. Just remember, as much as that makes it easier for you to get to the front line, it makes it easier for the opponent to get into your base as well. And Ahmed has a lightning. He doesn't quite hit it, but it does throw Babbo into the danger. And the tower fires and secures a kill. Ahmed's still alive. He goes down, but not before he throws out one more earthquake. Good earthquake from Ahmed. Pretty much clears the way for Keith to do here. Blast from Keith. Another blast. And another blast. And another blast. Shaman's just trading blast, and Keith goes flying into the water. This is a very familiar story to what happened last game as well. Same as last game. Team 1 took a whole bunch of earthquakes early. And were feeling the pressure. And then they mounted a phenomenal offense. Managed to come back into it. Will they be able to do that again this game? Don't know. It looks like Craig has all but murdered most of his trees. There is still quite a few though. Let's check the other side. Oh no, you want to see murdered trees. This is murdered trees. Look at this. Team 1 have got absolutely no wood. Man, Babo Shaman's trying to fly. Team 1 have got absolutely no wood and they won't stop building either. Look, Keith's got three plans down. One, two, three. They've got no wood and Keith52's put down three hut plans. What are you doing, Keith? If anything causes the loss of Team 2, it will be that. Babbo manages to throw out a Lambridge. He's scared. Scared his shaman's going to go for a swim. Craig goes for the aggressive play. Throws out an Earthquake. Any damage that's done with these Earthquakes is lasting because of the wood situation that Team 2 find themselves in. Keith is going to push in towards Craig's base. It looks like Craig's communicated that because Babbo has ceased his aggression and is pushing in on Key 52. Keith misses the blast and actually helps the Fire Warrior find the perfect angle on him. And that gives Baba the perfect opportunity to turn around towards Ahmed, who throws out an Earthquake, but it's not going to be the same permanence for Team 1, because look at all these trees they have left. Cannot believe it. You'd think Keith was a better player than that. Building. Building while there's no wood. Um, for those of you who are not used to the mechanics of Populous at the beginning and are wondering why that's such a big deal, it's a big deal because uh, trees take longer to grow back when they're completely cut down than they do to generate a stack of wood while they're still standing. So if you cut, if you cut down a tree completely for all four stacks of wood, it will be gone for a very long time. Whereas if you cut it down to three stacks, it will be back to four stacks before a tree that's completely cut down has even started to regrow. Ghost dancing from Craig and Keith. Just trying to push the other shaman around. And 
nice blast, secures one kill on the warrior, but it looks like team one are on the offensive now at this point. Ahmed's having to dance between two sides. Which side does he defend? Because Keith looks like he's managed to get himself killed. Lightning from Ahmed does not find the kill onto Babo. Now Craig is on the high ground. He actually fills in the land, which actually probably helps Craig more than it hinders him, especially if you're going to miss two lights like that. Double earthquake from Craig. Now, and an earthquake from Babo as well. Not a great one. And you got to remember, Keith has cut down all the trees. Every single tree has been cut down, so this is all permanent damage. Good run by of troops is cleared up by the Shaman. You never really want to send all your troops at a Shaman like that. Because they will just get killed with nary a sweat. Ghost army comes down from Babo and he is in the water. As a result of a well placed light fry Ahmed. Looks like Craig has gone down as well. The Shaman dueling from Team 2 has been very good, but I don't know. The building, not so much. You can see the stills. Look at all these trees. <laughs> Bab has found out that you can place a hut in this little puddle. So, hut in the puddle it is. Another earthquake from Ahmed, but Ahmed, your earthquake at the same spot, man. But earthquakes matter. You, I know you're trying to break the defense and get in. And Ahmed's into the water. Revenge screams Babo. Earthquakes coming out from Key 52 onto the defense. Really like Earthquakes on defense, does Team 2. Where is Babo going? Is he sneaking into Keith's base? It looks like he is. Babo's come in through Ahmed's side. Throws down a Firestorm. Oh, Keith's in the base as well. Firestorm from Keith. Keith's trying to sneak around the side. That's very sneaky. Ahmed throws out a light onto Babo and seems to have gotten the kill there. He throws out another light onto Craig, misses, then follows up with another light of his own. Secures the kill, but not after Craig throws down an Armageddon. An Armageddon? An Earthquake. <laughs> Armageddon's a very different spell, guys, if you didn't know Populous. That was not Armageddon. Um, now, it looks like Key 52 is still in the base, but... Uh, again, I'm going to call out. This might seem bad, and Team 2 might be cheering at this. But it's really not that bad because, again, I'll call it out one more time. And I know you're a bit bored of me harping on. Wood. The wood situation for Team 2 is absolutely diabolical. In comes Craig. Taken out by yet another lightning from Ahmed. He likes his lightnings, does Ahmed. You'll find him. He'll find. You'll find. He'll charge them relatively quickly and not need much convincing to do so. Ahmed's looking to go into the side strip. Babo's pushing forward into Keith's base with a whole bunch of warriors. There's a lot of warriors on the way. He's taking the shaman duel with Babo. Lightning's thrown out. Neither Shaman managing to find the hit. Ahmed's got his own warriors running in to push into Babo's base. Babo throws down an earthquake on the flat strip. That's going to kill more of your troops than it is Keith. Oh no, RNG just is, is his friend. Ahmed goes down to a lightning from Craig. This is pure offense for Team 2 now. Sorry. 
lightning from Babo. Catches Keith fighting a warrior. He does go down. Single Fire Warrior finds the kill. I'm not quite sure what killed Babo. Fire Warriors, I think, by all the corpses. I think Fire Warriors did that thing where before they die, they fire one last shot. I'd say the trees are just now coming back, but how many... So, those of you who aren't particularly familiar with Populous, you're like, you're probably thinking, I wish you'd stop mentioning the dang tree. <laughs> Ahmed threw himself into the water. Um, but it, those of you who have played Populous, and those of you who have played this map in particular, not having any trees is a really bad sign. You can see it's stagnated the growth. You know, Green can't even get a warrior hut because he just doesn't have the wood available. He's only just, you know, he's still got a hut that isn't fully upgraded. And he can't replenish his defense. There's just no wood for them to do all the things that he needs to do. Team two, there was that team one, there was that attack, but look at all this wood. They can rebuild their defense, they can build even more towers, they can their, all their huts are fully upgraded, they're larger, they've fully built out the base. Look, he's building a warrior training hut. This was gonna take him forever to kill, and it's gonna kill all what little trees they do have. It looks like a dance of shamans is occurring. Baba made a joke about this becoming the main path because nobody can be bothered to take the long path. That's sort of becoming true here. Keith 52 does go down. You've got to be careful. These are little puddles. Oh, Baba throws out the land bridge to save Prague, but it's not necessary. But both shamans do go down. Some well-placed lights have secured shaman kills. And now the shamans get to push them forward. Earthquake from Babo. Not sure how I feel about it, but we will see. It lowers the ground and it kills all those fire warriors, so actually it's not too bad. All those fire warriors do just run into lava. Craig decides to spread those fire warriors with a lightning. I want to see what spells this team have. I know from Craig's stream that he has two earthquakes. Firestorm from Babo. That's what I was waiting for. And I think that's what Craig was waiting for as well. He's being a little bit apprehensive to join the battle. And I think it's because he knew he was uh, convinced that Babo might have a firestorm. Again, this is permanent damage. They killed all their trees. And now this is just not helping their situation. They're spread too thin. This is all land. They can't afford to build defense. Lightning from Ahmed is good though. And it finds Craig just as he takes out another hut with a tornado. But look at this. Look at the size of their base. And look at the size of this base. And all the towers as well. That's what wood management can do for you guys. I swear I'm going to stop mentioning the wood at some point. Oops. Of red are starting to push in they're not achieving too much so that blue warrior was holding Ahmed in place Babo hoped to have a kill there but he didn't quite find it and now Ahmed's down he's managed to replenish but again they're still working on a very low wood situation it's very hard what do you do when you've got no wood well you need to stop building as much as it hurts as much as your logic tells you to keep building because they're getting bigger you have to stop building you have to let these trees grow back and get a little bit of wood on them so that you can harvest them and that way you'll have a continual source of wood instead of a completely desolate wasteland those of you who have played the single player populace will be familiar with what it's like to run out of wood if you think about the level bloodlust if you don't harvest your trees there you very quickly run out of wood and uh, that level feels like it takes forever as a result. Goes coming out from Craig. Ahmed throws out a lightning. Craig goes into the water. Keith manages a good kill on a light of lightnings onto warriors. 
His own warriors are doing a run by his, now that he's managed to get his warrior training hut up. Earthquake from Babo. Doesn't really do much, but he burns his own tower. Destroys his own guard tower. Good earthquake. Babo's been building on this middle strip. He's got fire warriors in the huts, but they've been pulled out. He's trying to find a way to sneak into Craig's base. I think Craig is going to be up and alive soon. Craig is, in fact, up and alive, and he's at the back of the base making land. He's actually fine, because Babo's in the tower. <laughs> Babo's in the tower, and he gets key 52. Nice shot. A second light finds its mark. There's Craig with the expanding. Good to see. Good amount of teamwork. You're not going to really get much out of that in terms of building space. But he's waiting. The shaman's, uh... His shaman's got a couple of lambrises in the chamber. Mummit throws out a light. Doesn't find the target. Secondary light. Doesn't find the target. Babo's still alive. Keith pushing forward. I wonder if Keith will notice that Babo sneaks up behind him. Ahmed blasted Babo and he came flying over this direction. Keith does turn around so I think he notices. Craig's just making land on land on land. Ahmed throws down an earthquake. Keith dies to Babo behind him. I thought Keith knew he was there. Maybe Keith did and just still just lost the shaman door. Ahmed's struggling to get through the front while Craig is just making land. So yeah, Team 2's really going to be able to accelerate itself and get huge off of the back of all this land that Craig's just made. And they've got the wood to do it. Look at this. So this is how many trees Team 2 should have had. This is how many trees they should have had when they uh, ran out of trees. Either way, this is shaping up to be a much closer game. Although I would say Team 1 has most certainly got the advantage at this point. They've got a much more fortified position. Uh, they've had wood for longer. They've expanded. Key 52 just throws out Firestorm onto his own warriors. It does kill quite a few blue fire warriors as well. But I question the point of charging your warriors forward if you were just going to throw out Firestorm. Baba does go down to Ahmed in a lightning duel as well. Lightning from Craig onto Key 52, catches him going in a straight line. Lightning onto the Warriors next. Almost clinical out of Craig. He throws out a blast onto Ahmed, but that just helps Ahmed get further into the base. Ahmed gets to throw out a very nice earthquake. That's going to be good. Yeah, that's great damage. Even burns a couple of trees. Avenji, stop mentioning the trees. I can't help it, guys. Just conditioned. And I'd say with that attack, it's actually much more even now. You know, Team 2, they have expanded towards the back. They have got the means to do so, but their defense is wide open now. Team 1 even. They're in a position where now they have to manage their wood on both their expanding, but also they need to replenish this defense because it's been completely stripped back. The advantage of attacking down this plane is it's almost been completely flattened out at this point. It means very difficult for a shaman to get high ground advantage. Key 52 looks like he's going towards the side strip. Ahmed's looking to make plays happen with his lightning skill. Lightning from Babo fails to find its target. Earthquake onto the uh, open ground. 
It's a great plague because what it does is it creates a lot of water, opens the ground less, damages some ground so that it can't be covered in towers. And as you can see, it's even shaken down two of the uh, guard towers as well. Lightning does not quite find the kill onto Craig, who is still alive. The key for two is going to be pushing into Craig's base here. And this is basically just a walkway into the base. Craig throws down both earthquakes. He has got two firestorm. No, just the one even. Has got one firestorm as well. Craig does go down. What happened to Keith? Did Keith get pushed into the water? He looks like Keith died getting pushed into the water. We missed that because I was too busy watching Craig's shaman duel. But that's big. Nice earthquake. I want to see where that goes. Oh, never mind. Less nice earthquake. That said, if Ahmed was trying to reinforce himself with warriors, uh, doesn't look like he is. All of his warriors are still training at the moment. Plenty of warriors from Keith 52 going down the main strip, however. Ahmed's gone down to fire warriors after throwing down an earthquake onto the towers. Yet again, pick a different target, Ahmed. There was, there was barely anything to earthquake there. You didn't need to just earthquake that. Craig is alive and challenging Key 52. Swarm does go down. Firestorm from Baba from Keith onto all those troops. Which was a good call. That was a, that was a good firestorm. That got pretty much all of the fire warriors of both shamans. Baba type is a nice map because yeah, this is what it becomes. Let's spam firestorm onto people's troops. Keith does not quite find the uh, lightning kill as he gets picked up into a tornado and killed. Baba then goes for a walk into his own tornado. He's like, that looked fun. Let me go. Me next. Me next. Ahmed reconnects to his own base, meaning all of these troops can now be utilised. Ah, oh, now the reverse is true. Where I was critiquing Team 2 for their wood management, Team 1 have done the same thing. It's what we f what we saw, what we foresaw. We did say they had to be careful, and now Baba's still building, even though they got barely any wood left. Their situation is not quite as bad as Team 2's, because Team 2 had no wood. Baba going down to a lightning there. While Craig is trying to pressure Keith on the side. Ahmed's probably just going to be able to walk into the base here. Firestorm is a heck of a thing. Nope, he's not going to cast at all. He's just going to throw down an earthquake and die to fireworks. Ahmed's just come back. He's a little bit crusty. He's probably why he's a little bit sloppy when it comes to how he deals with the troop pressure. Earthquake does get a little bit, though. Not entirely lost. And the warriors can now run in as well. Now we have Key 52 moving towards the side strip. Craig takes him out with a light. Team 1 have really lost their momentum. They need to find some traction. They need to stop earthquaking nothing and find some traction into the enemy base. Lightning from Craig onto Ahmed. This is their opportunity. Both Shaman's dead, although Keith will be back shortly. They're attacking together as well, so teamwork is crucial. We know that Craig has two earthquakes and a firestorm. We don't know what Babo has. He's cleaning up a bunch of troops. Babo had a firestorm, which he used on towers. Craig's favourite. And here comes and a very important duel on this flank. And Craig does not find the kill. He goes down to Keith 52, forcing Babo to have to pull back. Uh, and it looks like Keith 52 is going to push towards their base. Babo's in the decision now where he has to decide whether to 
defend or push, and it looks like he's making the decision to push. It's a good decision, but he needs to be careful. He needs to not die to Ahmed here, and he doesn't. He gets the kill onto Ahmed, and this could be big. It actually forces Keith to turn around. Lightning from Babo. So huge here that Keith has to turn around instead of getting to attack Team 1. Very important that Keith 52 did turn around there because otherwise Babo would have walked in. There's only a couple of towers and Ahmed's base is not that big anymore from all the earlier skirmishing. But it looks like Keith's gone down anyway, although he's bought precious seconds. Ahmed will be back any second now. Babo throws out a really, really dumb desperation earthquake. <laughs> That resets the position. It just makes it harder for Craig to get in. Craig does not have a land bridge. I'm looking at his stream. So uh, it's just made it harder for Craig to actually attack. Because now Craig can only come here. And Keith's about to come back soon. Ahmed's got the time to expand himself. Ghost Army does come down from Craig. He's getting in. He's getting close. He needs to be careful. Lightnings. Oh, both Shaman still alive. Oh, Key 52 still alive, as is Craig. Craig gets to retreat to see it another day, but he also doesn't do the damage to Keith. Keith manages to find a long range lightning and true Keith 52. Uh, in true Keith 52 fashion, he, uh, he finds the lightning and a long range onto the Shaman. Another lightning from Keith onto the warriors. Good choice there. I always approve of killing large groups of enemy warriors. Fire warriors die for nothing. They were going to be used for aggressive trooping, but they just they didn't really find any effectiveness as they were hit by lightning from a shaman. Keith being pressured on one side, Ahmed being pressured on the other. It looks like Keith's trying to get an attack off. Craig's troops are being very annoying. Ahmed clicks on the hurt. That hurt's going to go down. Very interesting choice by Craig Shaman there. A little bit of a stunned silence for that one. Oh, what a lightning! I don't even know if that was intentional. I'm not even entirely sure what happened. Oh, and another light. Craig, the gunslinger, manages to secure two shaman kills in quick succession. This could be the attack that gives Team 1 the victory. They need to play it patiently. They need to be effective. There's two firestorms for Craig right now. It's Craig. Yep, yeah, Craig opts to use one of the firestorms. That's smart. Baba will now back off choose a different attack path while well, Craig gets to go further in he casts a secondary firestorm and catches Ahmed Shaman she needs to be careful I think she's just out of range of being knocked into the water by that tornado onto the tower is the only defending tower left alive Babo earthquake onto Keith 52's defense Keith tries to save it with a land bridge but I don't think you do that when the elevation is different Meanwhile, Shaman Duel. Oh, Keith loses the Shaman Duel to Babo. Babo gets to go in on the other side. And Ahmed's left defending against Craig. Craig's still got some spells. Not many, but he's still got some. So Babo, here we go. Lightning. One Earthquake. Two. No. Just the one Earthquake and the Tornado. But that's definitely going to take out Keith's Fire Warrior Training Hut. And that's really important on a map like this. Oh, Craig's still alive, and he's gone into Keith's base. He didn't die either, so he got the second Earthquake off as well. One Earthquake, two Earthquakes, and he sinks in the water, which means he gets the quicker respawn time as well. Now, this will be the victory. GG, well played, says Ahmed, and he is absolutely correct. That was a decisive couple of Shaman duels. I thought it was all over for Team 2 when they killed all their trees. They managed to stall it out long enough for their trees to come back. It became a close game again until that decisive bout of Shaman Dueling from Sub-Zero actually manages to secure Shaman kills at a very crucial point and secure his team 
the damage that would spell victory. Despite calling GG, it looks like they're going to play this a little bit longer. Don't know what Arma's doing. Oh, his Shaman's moving. There we go. Oh, nice blast from Babo. Saves Craig's Shaman. And Craig gets right in there with the lightning. Beautiful bit of acrobatics there. Oh, Babo versus Fire Warriors. He's pretty bad at this. Surrender from the Ahmed. Surrender from Key 52. That is game. It is 2 0 for Team 2. Team 1. Team 1. They're Team 1. How can I mess this up? 